This is my final project for MIT 812 Multimedia Applications. I use the Google Classroom Suite to house the multimedia projects I've created for my 10th through 12th grade high school nutrition students. Um, the objectives I had for this assignment were for students to know the factors that affected their food choices and to examine the effects of global and local events as well as to be able to present this information using Paltoon. In order to meet the objectives, I first pose a question to my students. That question is the first posting on, the cl on Google Classroom. It's due tonight <laughs> on this um, website at, at midnight, pretty much. Um, the question says, what factors affect the food you choose to eat? And please describe at least two factors or influences on the food you eat. So here, students can comment. They can say two factors that affect food choices are, and then post. This allows me, for, allows me to easily see if all students have posted their answers, and then I can go through and quickly grade them, have them all in one place without having to shuffle through any papers. The next thing that students had to do to complete this, this project was to look at the presentation I made using Google Slides about the 11 factors that affect food choices. This is just a quick slideshow to give students an idea of how close they were when they uh, posted the factors and then also to let them know exactly which factors they are going to be studying. And so, two slides just telling about the factors that affect the choices. So these are the 11 factors. Okay, so after they have posted their um, comments about the factors and then go, have went through the presentation they then will work on their project and so for this assignment they had to choose three of those factors that were in the presentation and develop a Powtoon presentation I included with this a, an example of a Powtoon so kind of just showing all the capabilities of Powtoon as well as a screencast thematic recording of how to use Powtoon, how they can sign up for the site, and also um, some of the big features for the site. And because this is an assignment in Google Classroom, very easily, once my students have been added to this, I can see who is done, and or how many are done, and how many are not done, and then check on who has not completed it. Each of the due dates are posted in the corners of the assignment. And then finally, the last part of this unit is for students to take a quiz over factors that affect food choices. And for this, I use Google Forms to make the quiz, and I also use the, um, uh, the script, Google Script, in order to help grade that quiz. And so the quiz is very short and simple, but it gets to the point of whether or not they actually learned anything from their project and from the and from watching others' projects. And so for this, they have to put in their name, and then they will continue on and go through and answer the question. So. Um, After completing this project, not only did I learn how to do some photo editing with my background picture here, this was part of the photo editing that we did, but I got to learn how to use Powtoons a little bit better than I had before. Um, before I was just using it in a very simple slideshow manner, but um, now I got to learn more about how to insert uh, voiceover and video. I also used Google Slides, which is very similar to PowerPoint, but it does have a little bit of difference and I really enjoyed the capabilities that Google has in order to save your work and keep your work all in one place and I think that students will really enjoy this project because it does have the multimedia aspect to it.
Thank you.